Thank you so much, Candice. Okay, I'll go ahead and start sharing my screen here. I have a PowerPoint that I'll uh, cover. We have a lot of information, but I'll make sure and pay attention to, to the time. So uh, thanks for listening, guys. My name is Annie Compion. I'm an admissions counselor at Laguna College of Art and Design. And I'm gonna just tell you uh, generally about the college here. We're a private art school in South Orange County, which is in Southern California. Uh, on this map, you can kind of get an idea of where Orange County is located. Um, obviously, it's a you know big city. Disneyland is here, um, and we're really close to LA, but we're not in LA, so it's kind of nice to be nearby all these big entertainment studios, of course. Um, so there's lots of game animation studios here um, that a lot of our alumni get hired at, so that's good to be aware of. And Laguna Beach itself is very different from Los Angeles. It's a a small beach town. Uh, it was actually founded as an arts colony about a hundred years ago. So there happens to be a lot of um, galleries. There's a wonderful museum. There's a big festival that happens every summer that people travel to to attend. Um, so you're kind of like surrounded by art when you're in Laguna Beach. Um, LCAD is located in Laguna Canyon. So it's just a few minutes away from the coast. Uh, it looks very rural when you're driving through because it is literally a canyon. So there's not a lot of buildings or people living nearby campus. Um, but if you drive five minutes, you're, you're in uh, downtown Laguna Beach. And we have a couple different campuses. So main campus is kind of the original one. And that's where we have our traditional media classes and majors, drawing and painting, illustration, all of our foundation classes. So uh, sculpture studio, drawing painting studios. Uh, we have a fabrication lab here too, where we have our 3D printers and um, all kinds of fun tech. Uh, we also have a library here and a really beautiful outdoor uh, venue for events. And then Big Bend is our other campus that's literally just around the bend in the canyon. That's why it's called that. And that's where we have our digital media majors. So game art, graphic design, animation. And we have our downshooter lab here and our Cintiq labs. Um, it's pretty easy to walk there, but of course we have a shuttle that takes students back and forth so you don't have to walk. And I'm going to go ahead and play a short video. I'm just some kind of an idea of what the campus looks like in the area. So that's Laguna Beach on a cloudy day. Uh, it's very beautiful here. Uh, there's sycamore trees surrounding our campus. Um, it really is a canyon, so you will encounter some wildlife, <laughs> uh, probably like a rattlesnake or a coyote now and then. To be careful. And uh, we're very small. That's something I want to emphasize. So when you compare art schools, right, there's big ones in big cities, there's smaller ones in smaller cities. LCAT is like very, very small. We only have about 700 students total and we have six different BFA degree programs. So you're going to see each of them kind of briefly in this video here, um, highlights of student work. We only have visual arts majors, so we don't have any performing arts, you know, music, theater, dance, um, mostly, you know, entertainment oriented art. And you'll, again, we'll highlight each one so you get a, a good idea of um, what we offer here. I mentioned we're a private school, of course, uh, so tuition is gonna be higher than a, than a state school, but we're actually on the low end when you compare us to other art schools. Our annual tuition is $33,600. Um, if you, you know, looked into other schools, especially in the LA area or on the West Coast, they're closer to forty to $50,000 a year, right? So we're considerably less. Um, and that, of course, is before you get a merit scholarship. So if you're accepted, um, you'll get one. And I'll talk about that more after the video here. I'm going to talk about um, all of that stuff, how to apply the admissions process. Okay, so I'll start just talking about artwork and I'm probably not timing what I'm saying too well with the imagery you're seeing here, but um, we have six programs. So animation, drawing and painting, entertainment design, uh, game art, graphic design and illustration. And LCAT's a little bit different from other art schools in that we do have a little bit more separation between uh, different majors. Most other art schools are, you know, kind of have a cross disciplinary approach, especially in the fine art program, but you'll see that um, LCAD's different because we're just more geared towards the applied arts um, and industry. Okay, so animation, of course, uh, is really what our school is well known for. Um, we have a competitive program. It's, you know, not easy to be accepted to our program. 
And that is because it is geared more towards traditional animation. So you're actually gonna draw a lot in this program. Um, we technically have two animation programs now. They all used to be together, of course, but we've kind of found a need to, to offer experimental animation to those who don't wanna work in such a traditional manner. Um, so the regular animation major, we can call it classical traditional animation um, for clarity's sake, is geared more towards a higher frame rate feature film um, you know, approach. So that means seniors make a three minute film at 24 frames per second. That's feature film standard. That's a very high frame rate, right? And there's a reason for that, right? It looks better, it looks more fluid, it looks more natural. Um, if you wanna you know, imagine an example of what this looks like, think of like the Jungle Book. Okay, and our faculty are those people, are those animators who worked um, back in the golden age, right, of animation, um, or they studied with those who did. So um, we really, you know, cherish that tradition at the college. Uh, so if you're somebody who is like, you know what, I don't want to work in feature film, I'd rather work, you know, on TV shows, cartoons, then experimental animation is going to be a better path for you because they work in a lower frame rate and they work in more limited animation techniques. So that means uh, more flat, less movement, right? Less dimension. Um, and that's just traditional for TV, right? Because back in the day, they actually had to animate a new episode every week <laughs> um, to air on TV. So that also will include, you know, 3D, stop motion, anything that you want to, you know, experiment with that's not this more traditional frame by frame drawing, uh, experimental is going to be the, the right track for you. And I'm happy to talk more about these differences because it does get a little bit confusing. Um, you know, of course, anytime after today, feel free to reach out to me and we can set up a time to talk. So I mentioned seniors make a film at the end of their, their time at LCAP. You actually get started on it in the second half of your junior year because it is a, a massive project. It is a script to screen project. That means you write the script, right? You make a storyboard. Of course, you do all the animating. That's the bulk of the work, drawing each frame. Um, and then going back in and, and cleaning up and adding color, adding the voiceover, the score, and then you get to showcase that film at the Laguna Animation Film Festival at the end of your senior year. So that is a great event to not just show everyone what you did, but actually get to meet industry professionals from various animation studios in the area. So that's a huge networking uh, professional you know, opportunity, but we also have industry open house night. So that's at the end of your four years. And even if you're not an animation student, you get to be in IOH, we call it for short. So it's for the whole school. It's for all the applied arts majors, but animators get to kind of do two. They do the, um, the film festival and IOH. So people from Pixar, DreamWorks, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney, uh, just name a few right, that, are, that are in Southern California. They visit LCAD for these events every year. And then, of course, we keep like an online database of all of our seniors and their work and your contact information. So if you don't get a chance to talk to someone from a studio at IOH, um, they can always come and find you pretty easily through our, through our website, through our IOH database. Um, we also have an advisory panel for each major. So that's something that kind of coincides with professional you know, readiness. The advisory panel is basically a group of our faculty and professionals from industry. So each major has their own, and that's how we determine our curriculum. And they meet every year to update our curriculum and make sure it is up to industry standard. Um, so that's a, a good thing to know to ensure that you're learning what you need to know um, to get hired to work in the industry. Okay, so we're switching gears to talk about drawing and painting now. And I just realized that I'm probably talking too long. I need to wrap this up. I don't really have time to go by each major. So I'll make it very brief. Um, drawing and painting, very different at LCAT. It is traditional, figurative, representational drawing and painting. So it's not um, performance, video, installation, right? All that cross-disciplinary kind of exploration work that you would normally find at most colleges, art schools, it's not like that at LCAT. It is very focused on this traditional approach. So if you're into that, we got a program for you. <laughs> I'm gonna fast forward to talk about entertainment design for a moment. So this is our concept art major. So maybe you love, you know, the entertainment industry, the animation world, but you don't wanna be an animator, right? You don't wanna focus only on animating. 
if you'd rather, you know, um, work in that preliminary stage where you're coming up with ideas for props, characters, backgrounds, this would be your major. And of course, it applies to the full entertainment field, right? Um, in Southern California, that means a lot, right? That could be theme parks, toys, retail. I mean, it's it's immense. <laughs> um, I always like to keep, you know, reminding students that if you want to go in this direction, just know that it is not just character design, okay? For the most part, character is a very small part of what concept artists do. Most of their work is backgrounds. So start practicing that, okay? If you, if you kind of focus too much on character, you're going to want to expand it. Um, we have game art as a, a very similar major. It, the only difference is that it's just for games. It's concept art for games. Okay, I have to fast forward because I only have a couple minutes. I'm not going to talk about graphic design. Sorry, guys, <laughs> if you're interested. I feel like it's a little self-explanatory, right? Most people kind of know what that means. It's very broad, right? But it is um, more like a commercial art form. I'm going to jump all the way to talk about illustration, say a sentence about that. <laughs> so this is an incredibly broad major, but it's ideal for somebody who maybe you like all this stuff and you can't make up your mind about one, one career path, right? Maybe you want to be able to make the splash art for the book cover or the movie poster, um, or you wanna make editorial illustration for publications, right? Magazine articles, newspaper articles, or you wanna make sequential work, right? Comics, graphic novels, illustration would be your major. Okay, I have 30 seconds apparently. Well, I, I set a timer for 30 seconds for myself, so I'm gonna, um, go to the next slide. And let me double check my chat here so I can see. Uh, you know what? Every time I share a PowerPoint, um, I lose my cursor. I don't know if that happens to you guys ever. So I'm like trying to find the chat. There we go. Yeah. And they just wanted to know how if they could contact you afterwards as well. Of course. Let me go ahead and just type my email in the chat here. Oops, that's my timer. Um, that's my email, you guys, so send me one. You can actually send me your artwork. Um, I can set up a time to have a virtual portfolio review with you. I can show you examples and give you criticism. Um, the major thing to know here is if you apply to LCAD, you have to choose a major and your portfolio has to be tailored to that major. You're really gonna wanna do that because that's gonna increase your chances of getting a bigger scholarship. That's different than some schools, right? They wanna see like a broad range of what you what you do and what you know how to do. We actually don't. We wanna see that you are familiar with our program, our curriculum. That's because we don't have a foundation year. When you're a freshman, you start in your classes right away for your major. So we kinda, yeah, we kinda do it differently. Oh, that's really good to know. I'm glad you said that. That's that's specific to them. But thank you again so much for coming. We really appreciate it. And guys, don't forget if you want to, this was a, a quick and fast. If you want to reach out to her, she's uh, provided you with her contact information. But thank you so much again. That was awesome. You're welcome, you guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.